Hey there, thank you for watching this video. Remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if it helps you out in any way. Alright, so here's what we want to do. We want to start pinning folders and files to our taskbar. I know me, I'm starting to use the taskbar a lot more, and I really wish, like let's say, let's, let me create a new folder called Awesome. Okay, and if I go ahead and drag this to our taskbar, and I open it up, it brings me to something, the library section, and I don't want that, okay? Let me go ahead and drag all four of my test documents into this Awesome folder. Let me open up Awesome, and this is what I want to show up when I click that icon on the taskbar. Let me unpin this really quick. Uh, close this and unpin it. If I drag this Awesome onto the taskbar, uh, you'll see it still does not work, okay? It brings us back to this library place, and it's like, okay, why is it doing this? Let me go ahead and show you a really quick tip here. Okay, so you can use third-party software or applications, I mean, to get this task done, but why do that when you can do this without anything extra? Let me show you what I mean. Just to keep everything clean, I'm going to drop this awesome folder inside this master folder. So if I open it up here, uh, you'll see it's right there. Awesome. Okay. Everything's the same. Nothing has changed. All right. So what I want to do is, let me unpin this really quick. I want to go ahead and make a new shortcut. Okay, and now we're going to browse for the awesome folder. Let's go to master, because this is where it was, okay. It's in our master folder, and here it is right there. Awesome. Now, here's the thing. If you want to open up a folder when you click on the taskbar icon, highlight the folder. If you want to open up a file, such as a text document, or a picture, or a Word document, make sure you select that document. In my case, I want the folder to open up, so I'm going to click awesome. Great. I'm going to click OK. And don't do anything from here yet. Okay. What we want to do is go over to the very beginning, type in a space, and go back to the beginning and type in explore.exe. So this is the explore executable space, actually, explore executable. There's one space right here, and then our path follows. Now, you don't necessarily need these quotation marks right here, so if you want to delete them, go for it. If not, it doesn't really, it doesn't matter, okay? So, as, so if it doesn't automatically do those for you, don't worry, okay? You don't need those. So the main thing here is that we need Explore.exe, space, uh, and then we have our, our path. Click Next, and we're just going to rename this to, I don't know, Awesome Folder, okay? And click Finish. Cool. So now we have Awesome Folder. And we can actually drag this to our taskbar. And now that will open up the awesome folder. Check that out. So now folders work in the taskbar. Great. Now there's one thing though. If we keep making these kind of shortcuts, we're going to have a bunch of these icons and they're all going to look the same. And we don't want that. So let me unpin this really quick. And we're just going to change the icon of our shortcut. Let's go to properties. And I'm going to go to change icon right here. And I'm going to browse for the uh, icon file that I saved and if you need to find icon files in my awesome folder remember I had this, this icon if you want to find an icon file that suits you such as this one I found it online check out websites such as iconspedia.com or so a uh, link will be in the description to that website I'm gonna click this folder icon click OK and apply make sure it's an icon file okay it has to be an icon file for this to work and to, you know to change the icon obviously Click OK. There we go. Now we have the folder. Looks, you know, cool. So let's go ahead and drag this to our taskbar. And there you go. It does not look like the default folder icon. And we can drag this over to the side, whatever we need. We can delete the shortcut. Um, run CC Cleaner here. And now if I open this up, it brings up our awesome folder. Now remember, you can also do that with, let's say, the text document to open up this text document specifically or whatever you need. Uh, but there you go, that's how you do it with a folder. And I know that's coming, it's coming handy so many times for me with my master folder. Uh, I actually deleted it for the sake of this video, but there you go, you know, if I click this, it just works. It doesn't bring up that library location anymore. So there you go, I really hope this video helped you out. Hope I talked slow enough. I know this video is about five minutes long, but, uh, you know, just thought I'd take it nice and easy with you guys. And yeah, so remember, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you out in any way. Thank you so much for watching.